Online tutorials have become a go-to source for learning everything from cooking to crafting to programming and home repairs. However, as convenient as they may be, not all tutorials go according to plan. Sometimes things can take an unexpected turn, and the results can be disastrous. Get ready to laugh, cringe, and learn from other people's mistakes. From makeup, hair, to cooking catastrophes, join us as we explore the world of tutorials that went wrong. From the soot-rimmed eyes of the ancient Egyptians to the lead paint worn by the Elizabethans, people have long been experimenting with cosmetics, sometimes, however, with disappointing results. Lifestyle vlogger Lou Panganelli showed the world her gelatin face mask recipe, made from just a tablespoon of powdered gelatin and a tablespoon of water, briefly heated up in the microwave. Eventually, that was a beauty fail, claiming she would use it as many times before to remove pesky blackheads and dead skin. She instructed the audience to apply all over the face and dry it, but as she demonstrated how to remove it, the mixture so well adhered to her skin that it could only be ripped off in small, crispy, painful-sounding segments. The ultimate fact is Lou experimented tutorial that went wrong, and the pain was too much for Lou to bear. She washed the rest of her mask. Maybe she should try something easier next time. Beauty products can help transform you, but sometimes things can go horribly wrong. In one such incident, a man in Scotland accidentally pulled out his eyebrows after he applied a face mask on them and failed caught on camera. John Meachin, 30, requested his wife to apply a blackhead peel-off mask on his face, but, but when she refused, he decided to do it himself. But he did not quite understand when his wife asked him not to apply the mask on his eyes. He put it on his eyebrows and parts of his lips. When his wife, Tracy Dougal, started peeling off the mask, the results were concerning but also hilarious. John's eyebrows got waxed out while taking off the mask. Laughing hysterically, Tracy said, It's actually waxing them, I swear to God. Soon their daughter Paige was joining in removing the face mask. The entire incident was recorded by Tracy and shared on Facebook. The video has so far received more than 19,000 views so far. When the daughter was removing the mask from his lips, the pain was unbearable for John. He asked if there was a better way to remove it. But Paige found the whole process so funny that he even suggested waking up her sleeping sister to join the process of removing the mask from her dad's face. Do you enjoy watching funny beauty fails? Comment if you've ever done any tutorial that went wrong. Tutorials must be easy to consume, and learning is best achieved when information is delivered clearly. But it is funny when German YouTuber Naomi John was going viral after she uploaded a video of herself frying out semi-permanent freckles using henna. In the video, which was spotted by Revelist, Naomi admitted she was inspired to give herself a freckle makeover after watching a video on Instagram. She saw this video on Instagram ages ago where this girl gave herself permanent freckles with henna. After buying the exact same equipment girl used, Naomi decided to try it for herself and film the whole thing on camera. Needless to say, I'm pretty sure she's seriously regretting that decision right about now. This is one funny makeup fail. After finishing her work, Naomi noticed that her skin was burning and turning red underneath. A few chucky comparisons later, Naomi attempted to cover her fresh freckles with some foundation and concealer. Unfortunately, even tart-shaped tape could not save this. Clearly, having not learned her lesson the first time, Naomi turned to the internet for henna removal tips, including smearing olive oil all over her face. Finally confessing that she regretted everything and was about to go cry after the video, Naomi asked her viewers for their prayers. It goes without saying that this is one faux freckle hack you should definitely not try at home. Instead, we recommend investing in the Bronzy Tan Your Own Freckle Stencil, which allows you to channel your inner Meghan Markle with makeup. There are a lot of food that deserve to be deep fried, like Oreos, green tomatoes, and calamari. But on the other hand, there are a few questionable items that people have tried frying, such as butter, beer, and bacon. Oh, and gnocchi. Definitely don't fry gnocchi. Websterot TV, an online restaurant supply shop, thought it sounded like a good idea to fry the gnocchi way back in 2010. Luckily, Redditor Concept resurfaced this video to remind us that, like chestnuts, gnocchi will shoot at you like missiles if you try to fry them. Take a look. Not a... Uh... <laughs> Everything starts okay, but then a popping noise begins. The host turns the heat up, and the first gnocchi is fired. He takes the gnocchi out of the pan, but they keep firing. The host loses it, and the segment is over. 
by gnocchi. Now if you want to know what is gnocchi, they are made of small lumps of dough, most traditionally composed of a simple combination of wheat flour, egg, salt, and potato. Variations of the dish exist, where individuals have often supplemented the simple recipe with flavor additives such as semolina flour, cheese, breadcrumbs, cornmeal, or similar ingredients, possibly including herbs, vegetables, and other ingredients. Base ingredients may be substituted with alternatives, sweet potatoes for potatoes or rice flour for wheat flour, for example. Such variations are often considered to be non-traditional. That guy in the salon made it look pretty painless, but what if you were doing it at home? YouTuber Mike Woods and their assistant here about to give the tutorial on how to not do it. Starting with the left ear, maybe the right will be less painful? That is a lot of hair we can see in this video. This is why you should use wood for grip. Just like your nose, ear hair does have a purpose. Designed to work with earwax to keep dirt and dust out of the ears, it's normal to have a few hairs in the ears. But often as people age, especially men, that hair can become thicker and coarser, making it much more noticeable. Similar to nose waxing, explain to your male wax clients that it's best if a professional perform this wax treatment, as getting wax stuck in the ear canal is not something they want to deal with. Also explain that waxing will get them the best overall results, lasting longer and offering better removal inside and outside the ear, getting rid of all the ear hair in one quick session. Viral videos of people having full face hot wax treatments on TikTok have led to warnings from skin experts. They show softened resin covering subjects' faces, mouths, and necks, and partially penetrating their ears and nose before being removed. Try not to laugh at this beauty failure. A barber posting some of the most watched examples says it is beneficial, but the British Association of Dermatologists mentioned attempting to wax inside your nose or ears is not recommended. A UK-based skin specialist has also raised safety concern about the risk of obstructing breathing, and one expert has suggested TikTok should add a warning. But it has indicated that videos are excluded from its community guidelines on dangerous behavior because they show skilled professionals. They have gained barbershop cap salon freedom in the Netherlands of following more than 800,000 TikTok users. One of its first attempts, posted in November, attracted nearly 84 million views after Dutch media reports. It left the bottom portion of the customer's face exposed. But a more recent example with more than 19 million views shows the wax resin coming down over the man's chin and onto his neck. Many times tutorials went wrong. This time, it is funny hair fail. Kylie Iris, an 18-year-old entrepreneur from Toronto whose at-home bleaching was featured, has an entire playlist on her channel dedicated to experimenting with her hair. Like most people would be, Iris says she was panicked when she first removed her foils and realized her bleach job hadn't gone well. Anyone who has experimented with their hair as a teen can recall the dread and horror of realizing that your hair hasn't turned out like the lady on the box. But while a decade or so ago you would likely cover your hair with a hat and rush to the nearest salon to get it fixed, today's teens aren't shy about sharing their dodgy hair with the world. Chloe's video was viewed over 200,000 times, making it by far the most popular video on her channel, although her tutorial fail caught on camera. She earned money and was blown away by the views. She ultimately mentions the video has worth it because she felt it was important to show the realities of bleaching your hair at home. Kay started her channel Kay's Good Cooking in 2015 and has since gained over 10,000 subscribers. Viewers can expect to see her and her son cooking up various savory, sweet, and rather questionable feuds. And this is usually done to the ominous title of My Way, which will, to the trained good cooking eye, give many a clue on the standard of the food about to be cooked. This is very back to basics cooking here, and she herself even admits that on occasion, and she can often be heard laughing at herself. Once her good cooking magic is done, her son Lee then does the taste test. Now YouTube these days is packed with punchy personalities and even many a self-proclaimed chef. You need to be out there and proud of your concepts and ideas to make it. It's a saturated market of content in the land of YouTube and I think she has in a weird and wonderful way cracked it, albeit through irony alone. While her cooking and the cleanliness of her kitchen leave much to be desired, you can't fault her Kness. Every video starts off with Kay announcing, I'm back cooking again, as if she can smell the fear and trepidation among her viewers. This is quickly preceded by forgetting what she's cooking and having to be reminded by Lee. You may be amazed to see the tutorials that went wrong. That is what the YouTuber want. Many times makeup fails caught on camera. 
Look at this incident. For some, there are a few things more relaxing than sticking a makeup tutorial on YouTube and settling in for a few moments of escapism. Then there are those who like their makeup videos peppered with tales of depraved killers and their crimes. Sound bonkers? Not for the 6.4 million subscribers of Bailey Saren, an LA-based makeup artist turned true crime maven. Her two YouTube videos combining these two utterly diametrically opposing subjects, a series called Mystery and Makeup, have turned from a hobby into a full-time career that, among other things, has led to deals with the likes of US streaming giant Netflix. The 33-year-old herself is surprised that YouTube and true crime have become her day job. It is up to you to decide whether you feel this is a crime or not. Comment with your opinion regarding this. When social media performs coverage, some of the best memes are born. In this case, the God-adding meme comes from a TikTok video that went viral on Twitter. The TikTok features a young girl making Kool-Aid and then accidentally dumping an entire container of sugar into the drink mix. The incidental excess has become a meme about God adding too much of one trait to a person. The video actually originates from a 2018 YouTube video allegedly uploaded by the child's mother. Despite the video being two years old, the meme is freshly trending. One user included the video in a tweet which reads, God adding a resting face when he added me. Many of the memes focus on things the Twitter users find to be flawless in themselves. Meanwhile, some of the memes are aimed at positive attributes in others, such as Ariana Grande. The meme has expanded to include other videos as well, such as this one of a blindfolded person trying to scoop cotton balls into a bowl. However, it's a joke in the opposite direction, what God didn't add. Bill Dance is an angler and host of Bill Dance Outdoors, a fishing television series on the Outdoor Channel, and Bill Dance Saltwater on the Sportsman Channel. The man with the orange T on his hat for his beloved University of Tennessee and the home state has been a timeless institution as the host of this sports fishing show. It debuted in 1968, and over the years, Dance has entertained viewers with an educational, humorous, and an oft-times offbeat way of having a blast with fishing and learning about outdoor products. The three-time Bass Angler of the Year has always believed it's not how many fish you catch, but how you catch them, and he demonstrates his tricks of the trade every week. Fishing is usually considered a quiet and relaxing sport, but as Bill Dance shows in these hilarious bloopers from his TV show Bill Dance Outdoors, it can be hysterically a funny fail, too. But many times Bill Dance fishing fails, and that is okay. After all, no one is perfect in this world. Look at all these failed eyebrows tutorials. Not sure how sad this is for the YouTubers, but also upsetting for the viewers to look at their favorite YouTube star fail. From plucking to tinting, it can be tricky to get your eyebrows right. But some people aren't bothered about trying to imitate Cara Delevingne's perfect brows. In fact, they've gone totally rogue. Then there are those who've shaved their bristles off and scribbled over the top of them, with shapes ranging from tadpoles to waves. Also, there are women's eyebrows appear to have been inspired by Morse code. Hold a pencil against your nose. The edge of the pencil that is closer to your eye marks where your eyebrows should start. Don't go any further inward than this line. They should practice this. Tutorials can be addictive because they activate our reward pathways. Engaging in pleasurable activities releases dopamine and this system responds to rewards that reinforce this behavior. Apart from living vicariously through these online videos, it can also serve as a coping mechanism for those looking to escape from unpleasant emotions and monotony. But if a makeup tutorial goes wrong by a kid, then this hard talk becomes funny and life becomes more enjoyable. Your child's deep love of shiny lipstick and glittery eyeshadow is absolutely normal. Many young children love to dress up and take on different roles. They especially enjoy imitating the adults in their lives as they experiment with gender roles and develop their own identities. As cosmetics just happen to be a particularly fun tool. Look at this amazing kid. When Riley Lynn told her mom that she wanted to make a hair tutorial, she soon found out how hard her mom works. Riley's mom, Tara Watkins, posted the video on Facebook, where we see Riley trying to fit all of her hair into a ponytail to do it as mommy does. Riley soon discovers that she has way too much hair and adorably gives up her ponytail dreams to do something a little simpler. Hair tutorial went wrong. My baby tried, though. She said she has too much hair, Tara captioned the video. It's true. Watch the video above, and if you have a daughter or just a lot of hair, you can totally relate to this hilarious moment. A bad hair day can really get you down. So you can imagine one woman's horror when she realized she got her brush well and truly stuck in the front of her hair. 
Using a round brush, she had attempted a beauty hack doing the rounds online that uses similar to curl the hair and hold it in place for that perfect blow dry look. It ended up backfiring, however, and the brush was so tangled in her hair that it wouldn't budge, and she was left regretting ever trying out the trick she'd seen online. Sharing the result of her hack gone wrong broke down in tears as she revealed she was forced to drive to the hairdresser with the brush still attached to her head to have it removed. The girl then showed off the full extent of the damage the brush had done while having it removed, and it was so stuck the person cutting it out had to use pliers instead of scissors. Be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. I am sure you don't want to be like having little dots and frying your eyebrows because you are going to look like you got fleas in your eyebrows. You don't want to let you got fleas in your eyebrows because that is dirty. But this lady calling her eyebrows the anchor destiny. She thinks she looks like Mona Lisa, even more when she wears this eyebrow makeup. She is in fact doing it real quick. Not only that, she has been posing for Mona Lisa poses with that odd looking makeup fail. A lot of people wonder why the Mona Lisa doesn't have any eyebrows. Well, that mystery has now been solved thanks to an engineer called Pascal Cote. The Mona Lisa, when Da Vinci painted her, did indeed have eyebrows, but over time and over cleaning have eroded them to the point that they are no longer visible. Styling and maintaining our tresses at home can be overwhelming. When you can't find time to prep your locks, that's when the bad hair day comes. These are the rare moments no one wants to ever have happen again. Sure, everyone is opting for hair that looks great as healthy, and will stand out from the crowd. However, these are difficult to achieve when you have a chop that's outdated and downright bothersome. There are many YouTubers who wanted to be the smartest, but instead were horrible hair failures. Many times YouTubers tried to do the flat top that maintains a square shape over the top while keeping the sides short, but failed terribly. It spawned in the 1950s through conservative middle America, army veterans, and NASA. From there, it spread like the plague. We see this style taken to concerning extremes in the 1980s, when quiffs descended into the short crown. There were even men who wore narrow strips of gelled up flat hair with shaved sides. This darling tote is a must have, hand lettered by the popular Tasha of Hello Tasha. All you need is an iron and your two hands to make it yours. This crafter noon kit comes complete with a large white canvas tote, black iron-on and gold foil iron-on. The iron-ons are done in two steps for a pretty layered effect. No matter for what purpose or occasion you are designing the t-shirt, quality matters. Ask yourself this question, would you wear a t-shirt that itches and feels uncomfortable? The truth is, everybody knows the difference between good quality and cheap quality t-shirts. Plus, the market is chock full of affordable quality fabrics, leaving you with no excuse for choosing shoddy material. Complex design, bannerisms, and one size do not fit all are some factors online designed t-shirt and tote bags go failure. Contrast, imbalance, poor quality image, these are some major basic requirements one should keep in mind. Also, too many colors are a no-no. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you've likely been well versed in the joys of TikTok. It goes without saying that watching strangers dance to the remix of Louis Thoreau's My Money Don't Jiggle Jiggle Rap is an excellent use of your time. But if you fancy spending those TikTok hours learning some slightly more useful skills, the platform is full of brilliant content creators who can cater to your every makeup tutorial need. Gone are the days of long hour chatty get ready with me YouTube videos. Now we're all about consuming that beauty knowledge on a thick and fast basis. Angelica Isabella is a brilliant source of inspiration for many budding MUAs out there. From a viral, gothic, glamour, Met Gala-inspired look to 60s-inspired neon fingerprint flowers, the artist's avant-garde creations are mesmerizing to watch. Wednesday Adams, Crazy Clowns, Dead Cheerleaders, Batman, Pumpkin, Glam Look, Diamond Look, Butterfly, and there are many more different kinds of looks that have been created by her, but not all the tutorials go right. Some of those tutorials go wrong as well. Comment if you know anyone who has done TikTok makeup fails, whether you can name one or not, but get ready to know one more of the most popular TikTokers. Sebastian is very famous on social media. Started his career by sharing his videos musically. Now he become a very popular YouTuber and Instagram star. Bales got huge fame through his self-titled YouTube channel. He usually shared pranks and challenging videos on YouTube. 
Bales has shared many videos with some famous YouTube and TikTok stars. Earlier, he used to put many videos with his ex-girlfriend on his social media handle. But Bales and Godwin aren't social media stars in the traditional sense. TikTok fame has its quirks. A large portion of their audience watches them with an ironic sense of detachment, a sort of so-bad-they-can't-look-away magnetism that the internet calls cringe. Many people who view their content are typically making fun of them rather than aspiring to be like them. Experts warn that the psychological pressure of a millions-strong fan base on young adults can be dangerous, particularly when the relationship between creator and fan is, at best, callous. After posting the No Scrubs video, the comments poured in with people mocking Bales' deeply tanned skin and questioning the relationship the two claim to be in. Becoming a meme can be a point of pride for TikTok stars, and being mocked or made fun of is a key part of TikTok's playbook for success. If people are mocking content, they're usually sharing it, which leads to more exposure on the app and beyond. TikTok creator Whitney wanted to microblade her eyebrow. However, the treatment isn't cheap and can cost up to $2,000 for one treatment, so Whitney decided to order a do-it-yourself microblading. But unfortunately, it turned out one DIY fails caught on camera. She measured out her eyebrow outline, and then without applying any numbing cream, she started the procedure. And that's when the chaos really began. Microblading is a semi-permanent form of cosmetic tattooing, but unlike traditional tattoos, which use a tattoo gun, microblading uses a blade-shaped tool with a row of tiny, barely visible needles to create hair-like strokes along your brows while depositing pigment into your skin. The result? Realistic-looking brow hairs that won't wash off for a year or more. A girl attempted the infamous corn drill challenge after watching a tutorial online, but unfortunately it didn't go quite as planned. In the challenge, a person attaches a corn cob to a power drill and attempts to eat the corn while the drill rotates the cob. But the woman who attempted the challenge had a sizable lock of her hair ripped from her head when it became caught in the drill. The incident was captured in a video that went viral online. In the video, the woman appears calm as a large piece of her hair falls into the drill and is ripped out as the tool falls to the floor. She is left with a noticeable bald patch in the center of her head. In a following clip, she visits a doctor who assures her that her hair will grow back, but it will take some time. Here is another man who attempted corn drill challenge. As the man attempted the challenge, his teeth got caught in the spinning corn cob and were painfully ripped out of his mouth. The man was left with a toothless grin and a newfound appreciation for the importance of dental hygiene. It is always important to approach internet challenges with caution and to prioritize safety over the pursuit of viral fame. While internet tutorials can be entertaining, it is important to take safety precautions to avoid accidents and injuries like this one. Which is the worst tutorial fail? Have you tried any of these before? Share your thoughts on the comment section below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.